Not being afraid to share your true self. Every time we express the true self, we empower within the existence of the true self. The true self doesn't exist within this realm. It's only a reflection of the true self. So every time we connect to our true self and share it within this realm or this reality, we actually resonate back to our originality. Because the essence which we're sharing doesn't come from here, it comes from somewhere else. And when we're connecting and sharing, we're actually learning to code out of this reality. Because when we express and we share, we're actually learning the mathematical formula to encourage the essence of purification within this reality. This reality doesn't want to promote the true originality of our existence because if it did we would all be vibrating at a higher space of existence we would all be sharing the higher essence of our existence which doesn't promote the agenda of this reality this reality's agenda is to highly develop a control mechanism which essentially squeezes our entities of hatred, frustration, fear. So when we uh, are essentially connected to the higher existence of ourselves, we don't tolerate this formula of, of restriction. We don't have restriction. We understand that we are infinite potential, infinite manifestation, infinite existence, infinite awareness. We understand that we don't have limitation. We don't have um, what life is telling us that we do have because it's not true. We have our truth. We have our indiv individual. We have our individuality. We understand that we are individuals, but we're connected. We have our truth within our hearts and that's all that we need. We don't need what society tells us that we need because we don't. We will manifest into what we do need and how, and how we... The most powerful thing is, is, to, is to understand is that life will always promote what we do need. There's something within the formula to create the world that we're living in. There needs to be a section of, of matter which cannot be, that cannot be destructed. And that matter is ambition. Ambition exists within this world. And as long as we can connect to what we do need, we will always be able to set ambition to achieve this, this truth. It's the, the formula of, of this the, the world that we're living in. So when we think, oh, no, we can't just connect to our truth, our originality, because we won't be able to survive. <laughs> this is the logic of the mind. This is what the mind convinces us, is that we can't do what we love because we won't be able to feed our family. Well, it's not true. This is the fear of which our minds are predicting and essentially trying to limit us to to think when we can believe in ambition we can discover anything and, and most importantly create the harmony that we need within this world we want to be able to live within this world and feed our families and and most importantly be happy and as long as we can connect with the ambition that lives within the world and connect our hearts to the ambition we can be ambitious and be free at the same time. We can fight for our freedom. We can, we can do what we feel to be true for us. And we can make sure that we're not suffering within this world. The truth exists within ambition. As long as we can be ambitious, we will be okay. But the truth is, is that as long as we fight from our hearts, we will be backed by, the, by this matter. But we must learn to activate the hearts. We must learn to be ambitious.